Yes, hello from the yurt. Um, I thought I'd make a little video and answer some questions that I've been asked um, quite often lately. And um, it's a bit bright out here with all the snow reflecting the light. And yeah, just share a few things of what is special this time of the season. Uh, one of the most common questions is actually like, oh, you must be happy that it's spring now because uh, then the cold, cold season is over. And actually, um, uh, I don't know, I love, I love every season, um, but want to say, uh, no, I'm not ever cold really. Like there's no need to be cold uh, when living in the yurt. Um, and yeah, things are different, however. And I want to share how, how things are. Um, first of all, something about the two solar panels there. In the moment I have only one of them plugged in because uh, you see there's no leaves on the trees yet and the snow is reflecting a lot of light and the solar panels themselves, they are more productive when it's cool. So um, in the moment I'm getting more electricity than I can consume and also um, if both panels are plugged in and uh, I think then the peaks, uh, the peak load might be more than what my system can handle. So in the moment I have only one panel plugged in, that's more than enough. Um, and also I'm considering to, to uh, place them at different angles so that I don't get these high peaks, but have different times of the day uh, where I have, yeah, electricity um, supply. So yeah, about the, the cold, uh, first of all, this was now the third winter in this off-grid yurt here. Um, it's uh, in the subarctic. We are in uh, eastern Finland, and temperatures here can go down to minus 30, 35 Celsius in the winter, uh, which we really didn't have this year. Um, but even like I've had this experience of minus 30 outside, even if it's minus 30 outside, I can have plus 30 inside the yurt. So uh, the, the stove can do quite a bit on it. And even in the, like when I have, uh, when I use the stove really a lot, then I use about one cubic meter of birch wood, um, like piled cubic meter, uh, piled wood per month. Uh, and that includes wood for the sauna, that's wood for the cooking, wood for the heating and for the washing, hot water, everything all together. So one cubic, that's I think pretty okay. Anyhow, I want to say about the cold. Well, I think, first of all, cold is to me a little bit like, like what mosquitoes are in summer. They're part of the feeling, you know, in the summer, the feeling on your skin is you have mosquitoes sitting somewhere on you. And it is it's not really a painful sensation when you get used to them. It's just a sensation that, um, I don't know, it's a bit like, not like eating chilies or so, but it's like very acceptable. Uh, and cold is somehow I would say similar um, in that sense that it's part of the winter feeling. So part of the winter feeling is that there is cold air and um, that doesn't need to mean that my body is cold. Of course I have areas on my skin like especially in the face um, where my, my, I'm exposed to cold air um, but I'm not um, cold in my core temperature. And I don't like being cold, I have to say. Uh, for sure, I prefer to be rather on the cool side than on the warm side. So if I have to you know, choose my layers or how many blankets I use, um, I prefer to be slightly on the cool side and slightly on the warm side. Because that way I know that I'm not going to sweat. And uh, sweating moisture, um, well, that's it means you need to wash more laundry. It also means that... Um, um, your insulation layers might get uh, less efficient if there's moisture in there. So I, I prefer to be on the cold side, cool, not cold, cool side when moving about or when being stationary. Um, and yeah, I want to kind of walk you quickly through a day in the Europe. So um, people often, they compare apartment living. So you come home, the apartment is at, you know, something 20 degrees when you come home. It has been 20 degrees all the time when you were not home, right? Um, so it's been using energy all the time when you're not home. And then when you 
come home, you can you know walk around in t-shirt. So here it is a bit different. Um, and again, I'm saying I'm never cold. So that's we don't want to be cold. Uh, the idea of, of shelter is to be warm, dry, and safe. And uh, my shelter does that. And part of my shelter is, of course, my clothing. And I think it's a lot also about attitude and some habits. So, um, so I don't heat the yurt when I'm not home. I'm not heating the yurt while I'm sleeping. So I let the fire go out in the evening. And uh, in the night, I might throw on another blanket or another blanket. So usually I sleep under one, two, up to four wool blankets. Um, and that means I'm really nice and warm. And, um, oops, sorry. And with the, um, when I wake up um, and it's really cold outside, let's say outside might be, let's say minus 20, um, then it might be actually inside that the air temperature is somewhere around zero. Um, yet I'm not cold because I'm in the warm bed. So when I get up, I just throw on the down jacket, go to the stove, put the stove on. I'm warm all the time, right? Put the stove on and then go back to bed. So while the stove is then heating up the yurt and my porridge and my tea, um, I again in the warm and half an hour later when I then really get up, um, then the porridge is ready, the tea is ready, the yurt is warm. Um, and this season now, like towards the end of, sp uh, of winter, in the spring, there's now temperatures uh, where we can have um, outside in the sun up to 15 or 20 degrees uh, in the sun. And at night we can have still minus 18 or so. So you have a lot of changes. You actually get to hear a lot of uh, amazing sounds when trees are cracking. Uh, you hear that in the yurt. But um, the... Uh, the kind of difficult thing this season is to, to not overheat because, um, yeah, it's like easy to, to get it really too warm for my liking. Um, but it's nice that now we can, I can open the, the roof of the yurt so I can get to see the sky, um, sit in the open door. So that's all very good. Um, yeah, that was a bit about how I'm dealing with cold here and, um, um, yeah, enjoying, enjoying the snow and the season. And again, just say like this, you don't need to be brave to dare adventures out of your perceived comfort zones. Um, it's very comfortable to try different things. That was it for me. I wish you all a good time. Bye bye.